Welcome to Maker Kit number four. And this is a straw structure challenge. So as you see, I have made a rectangle and I would love to see if you can do that too. I'll show you how I did it. See how I put these straws inside of each other? So what you do is you squeeze the ends of your straw so that they will go into another straw. And see how I did that at the end closest to the bend? And then I'm going to put that straw into the other straw's end, the long end, furthest from the bend. Okay? I push it in there so it stays. And then I'm going to pinch the ends of the next straw. So it can go inside as well. And each one I'm squeezing the end that's closest to the bend and then putting that end in the other straw's end that's furthest from its bend. And finally I'm going to join them together and look at that. Now I have to push them in a little more to make them into a rectangle again. And there we go. You can also make a straw structure that looks like this. And it's very simple. You just join both of these straws at the ends that are closest to the bend. And then if you'd like, you can join that together by squeezing the end closest to the bend on this straw. and inserting it, doing the same on this side, except what will you have if you do that? Well, I'll show you in a second. If you do that on each of these sides where you squeeze the end that's closest to your bend, and put it in the long end of these straws, then you'll have something like this. Now, can you tell me what shape this is? It's a pentagon, right? It has five sides. And it's not exactly a perfect pentagon, but it is a pentagon. You can join these by squeezing one of the ends together and wow, suddenly, it doesn't look so much like a pentagon. You have to make one of the straws bend where it's not really meant to bend in order to do that. Or, if you made this one straighten out a bit, you turn it into what shape? A diamond. Very good. Now, if you have Play-Doh lying around at home, or if you'd like to make some Play-Doh, you can turn the structure into a tower. All you have to do is take some of your Play-Doh, stick the end of your straw into it, and then build. Use the Play-Doh as your base and as a way to join your straws together, and you can make all kinds of different structures. So I would love for you to experiment with your straws and see what you can make. You could make a super long structure that just keeps going and going until all the straws are joined together. And then you could bend it into whatever shapes you want. Or at least you could try. There are endless possibilities to this as there are to most STEM challenges of this nature. It's open-ended so that you can make whatever you'd like and experiment to see what works and what doesn't. Because that's what I really want you to do is to experiment and learn. And you can learn a lot of engineering lessons from just a few simple plastic straws. What will you make? I would love to see your structures. Post them on our Facebook page or share them to Miss Val's email and I'll see you next time for another Maker Kit Challenge.